to an update to a story we first brought you at the beginning of the month about the health department hanging up A's at restaurants who received a grade of 90 or above on their health inspections. Tonight, our Kelsey Pittman digs deeper on what health inspectors look for in the kitchen of an eating establishment. It starts as a surprise. The health department shows up to give an inspection yeah, on a restaurant. Up. Check the food, check some temperature in there. Averaging two to four checks a year, depending on their risk assessment. It's according to what foods they do, what kind of complex practices they have, how many employees and how many people they feel uh, feed. Keeping an eye out on infractions from how employees wash their hands. We always wash our hands for 10 to 15 seconds. Make sure there's soap. Hot water, 100 degrees minimum. If they fail to do that, that's two points. Then they look at the kitchen. Come in the next room, you're entering a new portal, gotta wash your hands again. How clean the equipment and utensils are. Unsanitized equipment is our most common. But the most critical ones are three point deduction. That's food temperatures, uh, cooking, reheating, cooling, cold hold, hot hold sanitizing your dishes and equipment, um, hand washing, cross contamination from uh, raw to ready to eat. Those small points can add up to a failing grade. When it does, they have a program to help the establishment get back on track. We do everything possible not to shut a restaurant down. We will go in and have them create a ac corrective action plan and start to work immediately to fix their problem. In Abilene, Kelsey Pittman, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. All right, thank you, Kelsey, for that inside look. Now, if you visit a restaurant and request their report, they are obligated to show it to you.